live stream is free, but please give a generous donation uh, to the uh, to tonight's artist, uh, Tamir Handelman. Um, you will see links there on your page to um, uh, the place where you can donate. And uh, please, please give generously. Uh, it's been a very tough time for musicians. They're finally getting a chance to do some live uh, performing in front of audience. Um, but it's been a tough time and they can use all your help. So if you're watching this music at home and you appreciate it, which I'm sure you will, um, please show some love, reach into your wallet there and send a little something in. Uh, and as always, if you have any trouble with the online links, you can just phone us here at the piano store um, and give us your credit card number and we'll get the money to uh, the performer, uh, tonight's performer. And 100% of everything that you donate goes directly uh, to the musician that you're seeing on stage tonight. That's Tamir. Um, so uh, thank you very much in advance for that. So we want to start the show now. It's um, uh, so we want to start the show now. Uh, it's a thrill to have Tamir here. Uh, we have uh, had a um, number of years long relationship with him and love his music. Uh, he's performed here uh, back in the day before the pandemic uh, as a solo performer but also as the accompanist of Tierney Sutton, uh, world famous uh, jazz singer, and uh, we've really enjoyed those shows. But it's wonderful to have him here solo. He always has interesting things to play and to talk to us about. So without any further ado, let's give a, a warm virtual welcome to Tamir Handelman. Enjoy.
It's so great to play for a live audience after about a year and a half, isn't it? And I'm just very happy to be here at Piedmont Pianos playing for you live folks and for you live folks. And this is a treat for me because for the last year and a half I've been doing concerts from home once a week online. And after a couple of weeks I decided to make them tributes to different artists who I love. Great American Songbook, jazz musicians, composers, songwriters, etc. And what I decided to do today is to kind of create a little medley of some of those favorite composers of mine. You just heard a medley of music by the great Johnny Mandel, who left us sometime last year, and I was fortunate to get to know him and work with him in different recordings, and he was an amazing gentleman, composer, 
uh, the great Terry Gibbs, who's still around at 96 years old, tells stories of being his roommate, age 20. Uh, and uh, he said that he would pass by the wastebasket. He would pick up a piece of crumpled music and say, what is this? Oh, it's just something that I wrote that I didn't like. And he picked another thing the next day. And after a few days, he said, you know, if I would have picked those pieces of music, I would have been the composer of The Shadow of the Smile. I would have been the composer of Emily. So uh, yeah, Johnny had a wink and a certain way about him that just, he, he was such a genius, but he had this mischievous way about him. And I just played three songs by him. You heard Emily, and before that you heard Close Enough for Love. And the first tune, I don't know if many of you recognized it, is a tune that I learned off of Fistan Getz album. Uh, the name of the tune is El Cajon. You know, the town El Cajon, but it's really named after the saxophonist Al Cohn. All right, now I'm going to move to the next composer, and we'll find out who that is shortly. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. So Richard Rogers wrote with mainly two, two others, two lyricists, Rogers and Hart, Rogers and Hammerstein. And I first heard that song from Carousel uh, when I was in high school. It was a high school musical, um, If I Love You. And the other two, uh, earlier on, after, after high school, after college, uh, there was a um, venue I used to play at with many different vocalists. And it was a pretty casual venue. And each vocalist would bring in a big stack of standards that they did just their own way, and that's how I got to learn a lot of these, a lot of these tunes. And uh, that's where I discovered some of these wonderful standards by Rogers and Hart, like The Song Is You, and the first one was My Heart Stood Still.
this morning was my first flight in 18 months. So I went and I said, well, this is a little different. The airport was very quiet. And I went and there was a TSA announcement, no snow globes. <laughs> And I just thought, this is such a great little detail. No snow globes allowed, right, in luggage. So I took a picture. And I love how sometimes images kind of scrambled in our minds because the day continued and I did flew here and did this and that. And just right now, I made up this, this song for you. And, and as I was thinking, at the tail end of the song, I was like, what do I want to call this song? Snow globe. <laughs> So since we're into originals, I'm going to play a couple more originals now. Uh, this next song is a song that's on my first CD. It's called Spring Action. And when I first wrote it, I was really, you know, just, you know, when things are really buzzing, when everything is happening and people are out and about, kind of like things are beginning to happen now. So I thought this would be a good time to play it for you all. So here is Spring Action.
With the originals, I figured it would be nice to introduce each one so you get an idea of what the song is about. This song is one that I wrote um, in Utah. I was actually uh, on a weekend recording some music with, with friends, and we were in a studio that was very close to the woods. The time was about 5 or 6 p.m. The, the sun was setting, and I just got this feeling. It, you know, when you, when you say the word premonition, it usually means something bad is about to happen. It was the opposite. It was like a feeling of the sweetness of the summer to come. And so I call this song Almost Summer.
Thank you so much. Uh, one of the, my musical heroes uh, who I first heard in Israel and who recently left us was someone who you really couldn't imagine leaving us. Uh, he kept on creating music throughout decades and decades and decades. And I remember walking in Switzerland one day, I was on tour, and I passed by um, a little display case for a record store. And there was this iconic image of one of his albums from the 70s uh, with a bird flying over the sea. And, uh, and I thought about Chick and what an amazing musician and creator he is. And I really say is because I feel his, his presence is just such a child of music. So I'm gonna play a little set here dedicated to Chick. Bye. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for being a great audience. And thank you to Piedmont Pianos. Thank you. Hope to see you again.
what a wonderful show. Thank you so much, Tamir Hendelman. Beautiful music. Uh, so the, the links to donate are still there. If you haven't left a donation, please do. Um, you just heard this beautiful music. Uh, Tamir, as well as so many other musicians, are uh, um, suffering from having to have taken a year off from live performing. And they would really appreciate any, uh, any donation you can make. And 100% uh, of anything donated, as always, goes uh, directly to the artists. So um, we will see you. Um, we will see you in the month of August, if not sooner. Watch our, uh, watch for our email. Uh, watch our website. Uh, watch uh, Facebook or YouTube uh, to find out what's uh, what's coming up. We have shows scheduled in August, and we may have some sooner. As we mentioned, we're going through a little transition to live audiences, but we will keep streaming. Our shows will always be streamed as well as performed in front of live audiences, and we'd love for you to know about them. So if you're not on our email list, please join by going to piedmontpiano.com, our website. You can sign up there to uh, be on our email list. Also, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram, and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to, uh, to find out about everything that we have, uh, we have coming up. So uh, for the showroom sessions and for Piedmont Piano Company, my name is Jim Callahan. My co-producer of the showroom sessions is Jordan Perlman, um, our on-site engineer, my brother Michael, uh, and uh, our on-site uh, cameraman extraordinaire is Ted Leahy. Thanks to everybody for making such a nice show. And uh, we will see you next time. So long. <laughs>